this belief maybe that a lot of leaders have that the office was working fine prior to the pandemic. And we just need yeah. to go back to that because it was working fine for them in their position yeah. of power. They were getting their connection needs met all the time. Right. Mm-hmm. And there's probably been a, I don't know if, I don't know if it's true or if there's data to reflect this, but a decline in curiosity, right. Of people actually being curious about the experiences of other people. And that's such a core ingredient of using your, our power. Well, when we do have power is to actually be genuinely curious about someone else's experience. Because if we were, we might find that the water cooler chats are not what people find connecting. They find them stressful or whatever. Right. And (laughs) the reality is, is that each of us are going to have an individual perspective on that. And the system doesn't like that kind of one size fits one approach. It loves the one size fits all, you know, let's just blanket policy this. Um, So that's, I think, if we, if we slide over into some of the other kind of challenges in the workplace or problems, we, we find this misuses of power. Um, bucket, which really finds it like it, misuses of power are often very subtle. Um, oftentimes don't look like misuses of power because from my perspective, you know, they, it's working fine, right? Everybody's coming into the office and they're smiling, right? They're not mm-hmm. telling me that they're stressed out or frustrated or, you know, don't have childcare. So they're scrambling every day or like whatever it is that's driving that. Um, you have this expectation, I guess, is that it works for me and it's going to work for everybody. 